morning. This is Jim. I'm the manager at the Auto Skills Center here at Dalbert. I want to show you all a couple of things that you might want to take a look at while your car is setting and some things to do before you take off once this thing is lifted. First thing you want to always keep an eye on are your tires. If you don't have one, this is a tire depth gauge. You can get them if you get off. The next might even have them. You just want to stick them in three different spots across the tread of your tires and read the percentages. Anything that's above 330 seconds passes in the state of Virginia for inspection. Anything below that won't. But if you can't get one of these or don't have one of these, then you can always go old school and get the old Lincoln Penny, stick that in your tread, and if you can't, if you see the top of Lincoln's head, your tires are gone. So a couple quick, easy ways to just make sure. The second thing on your tires, especially setting for a while, you're gonna lose air and you're gonna get flat spots. So once again, a dollar, two dollar thing at all the supply store is a tire pressure gauge. Always check your tire pressure, especially after you've been setting for a while before you take off. When you check your tire pressure, all manufacturers have a label either on the door post that tells you what your tire pressure is. Always go by that label when you do that. So number one important thing, tire pressure, tire tread, especially after setting, you might get flat spots, they'll go away after you drive a little bit. Next thing you might wanna look at, under the hood, pull your air filter out. Not only check the air filter, but since your car has been setting, check inside the air filter housing because squirrels and other rodents like to make nests and store their nuts in there, mice especially. Another thing when it comes to car setting with rodents, they like making nests inside the car, inside your blower motor. If a car's been setting for a couple weeks, check it, turn the blower motor on. If you hear a noise or vibration, quite possibly you have a visitor. So you wanna take care of that as soon as possible. And then the last thing I wanna show you, especially this time of year, you've all woken up, and if sinuses haven't told you, your runny nose has, is the pollen that you're starting to get. That nice green haze that every time, especially if you got a dark car, it looks green when you come out in the morning. Don't use your wipers to clean it off with. Take a soft rag first and get that first layer of pollen off. Because the next thing you want to check pollen will eat up your wipers as you turn them on to try to rub it off. So tires, wipers, unwanted visitors inside your car. I've even had to set mice traps before. So those are the little things when your car sets for a long time that you want to look at and, and check before you leave and have to move on to another destination. And the one other thing you're going to get this time of year with morning dew, there's a buildup of rust on your brakes. Don't worry about it. It's not unsafe. It'll go away after you hit the brakes a couple of times. Do those, and just once in a while, turn your lights on, check all your bulbs. And one other thing you might want to do, if you're going to be sitting for more than three or four weeks, disconnect your negative battery cable so your battery doesn't die in case you get some type of draw on the system. Do those things, and you'll be ready to go when this is lifted. Y'all have a great day and thanks for stopping by.